All right, good evening and welcome. My name is TVHM, and this is Dove Light FX, your one stop plug to your first solution. So, very quickly, in the next couple of minutes, I want to analyze the Boom 500 index to show us the opportunity that um, um, relatively don't appear. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have um, the cash flow is downwards, and price has been tanking over the over the years, all right, since July, okay, somewhere around um, um, middle of 2019 and 2020 and down, coming down to July 2021, all right. So we see price making, making relative attempts to go down and all of that stuff. But here again, there is something that is very crucial we need to understand. This is the monthly time frame, so let's get analysis started. Here, look at this point. That is like a harami, right? That's a harami, right? Otherwise called an inside bar, okay? This white baby candle is captured in this mother candle. And this is a hammer that also suggests price going upward. This is an inverted hammer that is also suggesting price going upwards. Both of them put together, right? Is um, giving us also a harami. Then if you move your if I move it to these two candles, this is showing a higher high and higher low candle. Higher high showing that price is ascending, showing that price is ascending. Then we have this candle, this bearish candle coming to take it out, right? And to eliminate this lows, okay? But then again, we want to, what do we want to do? Price is at the lowest ebb. So how are we sure that price will not continue to go down? Well, there's something that we're looking at and we're expecting to see. We want to see price begin to rise, but then we have to wait, all right, to see that momentum begin to rise. Let's look at the weekly time frame and see what the weekly time frame has to offer. So the weekly time frame gives us a significant low here. This low, as a matter of fact, is actually an extreme volatile low. It's an extreme volatile low. So um, TVHM, why do you say that this low is an extreme volatile low? Why is this low not extreme? Why is this low not extreme? And so on and so forth. Why is it that this double bottom failed here and the rest of them, why? And plenty wise and plenty wise. This double bottom failed because it's not an extreme low. So how do I identify an extreme low? Get ready to uh, get ready and sign up today for the um, um, WMIDA series. The MIDA series, watch me as I do it series. It's gonna be explosive. It's an opportunity that only comes like one in a century right? You're not going to have the opportunity to come at that price again. Well, so let's get back to what we're discussing. This is an extreme low, and I'll be showing in the um, curriculum, in the course of the mentorship program, how to identify that this low is actually an extreme low. So we see price eliminate this low, and, and we begin to see price slowing down. How do we do that? In a few videos, uh, in the past two videos on NZD card and um, which other instrument, one of the AUD card that I analyzed, I showed us one of the way, one of the hundred ways we can um, um, study price reading. One of the hundred ways we can study price reading. And if you look at this, from this low to this low, there's a distance. From this low to this low, there's a quite a distance. From this new low to this new low, there's quite a distance. From this new low to this new low, there's quite a distance. But then there is rejection, a good rejection. Quite a distance, but a good rejection. Then from this low to the next low, no movement again. See that? So price is slowing down. And then on the other hand, I will also show you during the mentorship that this is a new low lower than this, but this low is not an extreme low. How do you know that, Mr. Godson? I'll show you during the mentorship, all right? It is not what this um, analysis can cover because it's um, a whole series on its own. This is not an extreme low, but this point that I marked is an extreme low. Now, this has been taken out and all that, and we see what price is doing this week. Today is Thursday. We have three more days for the day for, for, this, for this week to end. And if this week ends like this, then it's a buy. So we want to watch what price will do between now and Sunday, because this looks like it's also forming a harami, which is unwillingness of price to go down. A harami is forming here, which is also unwillingness of price to go down. So that's an opportunity to push a buy. So if I want to buy this uh, instrument, I'll be looking at holding my price somewhere around here, right? I watch for price to come break it up. 
but that most may could happen this week but possibly or maybe next week so we want to see how price we close out this weekend and this week we end on sunday this is um um, um volatility index and it trades seven days a week not the regular five days a week and there are quite some great opportunities in this market so if you haven't signed up kindly dm me and i'll send you a link for you to get started with it all right so in comparison this is what we have now so we have two points a volatile low here and a non-volatile low here this is an expectation for price reversal this is an expect expectation for price reversal as you can see the swing is coming down for those of you who have attended um a few of my courses uh, in, 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 the, in, in the past, like um, um, the Elliott Wave and um, the rest of them, if you attended Harmonix, you'll remember I talked about a neutralized swing for price to effectively, to effectively reverse, the swing must be neutralized. This is a neutralized swing, not just neutralized. If you did um, sciences, you will realize that this is at an inclined angle. But this now is a flat movement, all right? So if something was rolling down here, it will continue to roll down. But if it begins to roll horizontally, to roll horizontally, of course, it is no longer going in that direction. So we're expecting that price should rise to the occasion. This is our high. Let me give you a price value. So I'm looking at this high exactly. 5350, 5350, 5350. A break above 5350 will see us beginning to buy the boom 500. And TVHM, where are we buying to? Woo, that's a good question. Where are we buying to? So let me give you the structure how price is going to travel. Price leaves this point, it's going to go this high. First, then when it gets this high, then it will break down. It will break down to a low somewhere around here, all right, before it will now continue upwards. Why did you draw your structures like this? You will get to know in the class. You will get to know in the mentorship program. Get your friends and families on board. Get them signed up for the meeting. It's going to be explosive. This is from 500. By next week, we'll be looking for sweet opportunities to engage. I've given you a price entry. You take your stop loss below the lowest point created in price, and then we want to see price buy. This opportunity should last and carry your trade for the next couple of months, if not for the full quarter. For the next quarter, we want to see price continue to buy and boom upward and boom upward and boom upward and put you in some good profits. Watch me as I do it and learn the enforced reading of the market. Get signed up today and see you in the mentorship session. Have a nice night.